Hello, beloved believers, may you always remain steadfast with us on this channel that presents inspiring stories. On this occasion, we have prepared a wise story to increase our faith. Before that, let's support this channel by liking and subscribing. Click the bell too, so you can receive more useful content. In the Islamic Golden Age, Muslim scholars made significant contributions to various fields of knowledge, including philosophy and physics. Among these scholars was Ibn Rushd, also known as Averroes, who lived from 1126 to 1198 in Andalusia, Spain. Ibn Rushd came from a family of judges and scholars, and he himself became a judge and physician. However, he is best known for his philosophical and scientific works. He was heavily influenced by the philosophy of Aristotle, and his writings helped to reintroduce Aristotelian thought to Europe. One of Ibn Rushd's most important works is his commentaries on Aristotle's works. His commentaries were highly respected and were widely used as textbooks in European universities for centuries. He also wrote extensively on Islamic philosophy, and his book The Incoherence of the Incoherence was a response to Al-Ghazali's critique of philosophy. In addition to his philosophical works, Ibn Rushd also made significant contributions to physics. He wrote a number of books on the subject, including the Book of the Simple Elements and the Book of the Art of Medicine. In these works, he discussed topics such as motion, light, and optics. Ibn Rushd's works on physics were highly influential in Europe, and he was known as the commentator among scholars who studied his works. His theories on light and optics were particularly important, as they laid the groundwork for the development of modern optics. He was one of the first scientists to suggest that light travels in straight lines, and he also proposed the idea of refraction, the bending of light as it passes through different mediums. Despite his many contributions to philosophy and physics, Ibn Rushd's ideas were not universally accepted in the Islamic world. Many Muslim scholars saw his philosophy as a threat to the Islamic faith, and his books were banned in some parts of the Islamic world. However, his ideas continued to be studied and debated, and they had a lasting impact on European thought. In conclusion, Ibn Rushd was a highly influential figure in the Islamic Golden Age, and his works on philosophy and physics continue to be studied and debated to this day. His contributions to the field of optics were particularly important, and his ideas laid the groundwork for modern scientific thought. While he faced opposition from some Muslim scholars, his legacy lives on as a testament to the achievements of Muslim scholars during this period of history. A story that hopefully will be a lesson for us, don't forget to leave your comment and subscribe to this channel, so that you can get more interesting stories in the future. Thank you and see you in the next content.